Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous videos, we created CRUD operations for this rows. But from today onwards, we will be doing CRUD operations for permissions and it is going to be very, very fast. And before starting the CRUD operation for the permissions, let me show you one thing which we need to fix. If I just show you over here in the console, let me just zoom it. And if I refresh the page, then we are seeing here an AJAX request for the roles. But this should not happen. Whenever we are refreshing the page, Inertia will automatically send the roles from the back end, from the controller. And we don't need to send AJAX request. Let me show you here in the roles controller and here in the index method. We are already sending these items from here. And if we see here in the use filters, we are assigning filter something and again on mounted we are doing something with the filters which means we are assigning this default filters and here we are watching the filters so it is again refetching the roles but we don't want this behavior so i'll just cut it from here and i will paste this from here because this default filters is going to be an object so i'll just remove this thing from here i'll just save it and if I come here and refresh the page, then there is no new Ajax request, but we are still seeing the roles over here. And if I search for admin, let's say, then we are still getting this. And if I again refresh over here, because we have this admin over here, this admin should still remain here and we should only see the admin records, which is absolutely working perfectly fine. Now let us move towards the permission card. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So let's get started. For that, I'll go here in this permissions controller. Let's sorry, in the roles controller, we have this role, sorry, roles, not role shader, roles controller. We have these things. So let me go to the web, not in the web, sorry, it's in admin.php. We have this route resource for the roles controller. Let us create the permission controller, or we can just duplicate this roles controller. So I'll just duplicate this and instead of roles controller, I'll say here permissions controller and here I'll just paste it. Let me go to admin.php and duplicate it. And instead of roles, I'll say permissions and here it will be permissions controller. And also we need to import it, which is imported over here. Now, let me go here and wherever we find this role will change it to permission. I'll just source for roles over here and let me source for this case sensitive. If I select this, then it will only source for role. But if I just unselect it, then it will source for roles, but it will be case sensitive. But we want to replace this with permission. And I'll do replace all. And similarly for roles also, I think there is no roles, so it is not finding. So I'll just source for capital R and I'll change that to capital P and replace all. And we are seeing a bunch of errors over here. We'll fix those also. And also there are some things that we need to create, which is this permission request and permission resource also. So I think we are seeing error over there. Yep, over there, we are seeing here permissions request, permission resource and permission request. So let us go to role request and let me duplicate it. And let me just say here, permissions request. And let me just paste it over here. And instead of roles, we'll say here, permissions like this. And every other thing will be same because the permission will also be required. Okay, after this, the thing that is showing us error was this permission resource. So let me go to roles resource and by the way the package that i am using in order to duplicate this file is i think its name is 
at the rate file utils or yeah file utils using this package whenever i run let's say command shift p then it will show me this and i can just say duplicate and it will show me this now here instead of role i'll say permission resource and let me rename this as well i think i did not rename this so yeah sorry i renamed it over here and it will be the same thing id name and created at formatted okay i think we did everything and there should not be any error over here okay and if you just hover it in every one of these classes then everyone is showing link which means that they are all present and there is no error if you see here on the right hand side i think everything is working perfectly fine now in order to see this let me go to index view like this and i'll just copy this role folder and i'll go inside these pages and paste it and instead of role i'll just say permission now if i go here inside this index then as i have told you that we made so many things dynamic we don't have to change anything over here i think so let us just search for role and we'll not find any role over here everything is dynamic now everything over here these things also are passed from the server side so we have already changed there so everything should work perfectly fine over here okay and the things that are needed in the permissions are also only the name and later on in the roles we'll add attach or detach some of the permissions inside the roles we'll see that later okay i have added this and now let me again go to this index sorry not in the index but in the create do we have any role yeah we have roles and of course we forgot to refactor this create module so here instead of role i can just say here item like this okay so i'll go here in the permission controller and let's say in the create instead of sorry not in the create in the edit instead of let's say permission we'll say here item and where do we have roles here we have rules but i think we have also passed oh no we don't have passed this resource route name so let us pass that as well here in the edit section as well as in the create section route resource name and i'll go here and let me just add it over here like this and here it will be type string and required will be true and here in the roles i'll just say here like this route resource name here will be also route resource name and this will be changed to like this and here also i should change it to like this similarly this is the props.roles.name which will be props.item.name and here also item.id now we don't have a role over here let us fix this let me just copy everything from here and let me go to this role create and let me just paste it over here and in the roles controller so where did it go roles controller also let me just go to create and and let me paste this route resource name over here as well as i should paste it over here now let me go to this permission create and is there anything that we need to add let me just quickly check over here okay here is the title that we are passing from the back end i think we have passed it from let me go to permissions controller yeah we have passed that title from there and we only need name that is perfectly fine okay now let me run np on run watch but i have already done so i don't need to also let me just check these roles one more time so i'll just so this console uh, let me remove this one web icon error and if i add one new let's say new role okay route resource name is not defined oh yeah sorry in the i think we forgot to sorry this route resource name it is not only route resource name but it is coming from the props so i need to do props dot route resource name route resource name now let me again go to another create and 
over here also i need to write here props dot route resource name i'll save it i'll refresh the page and i'll say new role and hit enter and the new role is created successfully and also in the edit section okay it is not showing because in the roles controller we didn't pass item so i'll pass here item and refresh the page then we are seeing here new role and if i write two and hit enter then it is updated successfully now let us change here add something over here and we are using this layout here inside the create which is this authenticated layout there are so many files it is showing so many files but the file is only one I don't know why this PS code is doing this and I have here roles roles I need to just duplicate it and let us write permissions first okay and then roles and here it will be capital and permission because we need to create permissions before creating the roles because we will be assigning permissions to the roles so I'll just refresh and I'm not seeing anything over here admin dot permissions dot index. Let me go here in the admin and change this permission to permissions. And if I go to the browser and refresh the page, then everything should work perfectly fine. Now, if I click on this permissions, then we can see here no data available. And here also we can see permissions. And in the add new also, we can see add permission. So let us add new permission, let's say view roles and hit enter then we can see this and if i go here inside the roles also we'll see this new role to content writer super admin again let me go to this permission and we are seeing only the things that is related to permission and you can see here guys it is very very easy to do it now we made our view templates very very dynamic so it was very very easy for us to do the permission crowd that's why we need to look a little bit far we need to be a little bit far sighted so that it will be easier for us to work in the future module. I think you got the point. And also let me add one more, let's say create role. Now let me try to go ahead and edit this create role one. And then also we can easily edit it. And if I just click on this and click on delete, then also the permission is deleted and we can easily see this message over here. And let me create one more permission so that I will show you these filters also. Let's say again, create role and let's say here view. Then we can only see the roles with the view. Now in the next video, we'll go here in the roles and whenever we click on this edit, we'll show bunch of permissions that we have added earlier and we'll show attach or detach there so that we'll be able to attach or detach permission to the roles and also all these roles default roles and permissions we'll be adding these from the cedar we'll not manually create this so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye